at Sima and I just spotted two fantastic Mustangs, so I really wanted to learn more about them. And the fantastic thing about those Mustangs, they have a completely dedicated uh, chassis, like an electric chassis, like a skateboard electric chassis. So yeah, tell us everything about the company, uh, where you're coming from, uh, where you're taking those Mustangs, and maybe other application for those uh, uh, skateboard chassis. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So we're Elkington Motors, uh, and what we do is we develop a complete rolling chassis that's been electrified uh, to be able to offer that to builders to have an, a different revenue channel okay. uh, to be able to offer to customers as uh, electric resto mods. Um, so it's an easy option to convert to electric a classic car, a truck. Right, yeah. right, right. Because right. right now the options out there, it's it's never exactly what you want. The build take a long time because there's yeah. a lot of technique involved with it and expertise. You also have a lot of parts that you're trying to source from everywhere. Maybe reuse those Tesla swaps. So we wanted to come to the market with something that was completely ready to go, high performance, equal balance, everything that's just high performance focused. And then we created a module chassis so you can fit a variety of different classic car okay. bodies on top of that. So are we talking uh, almost like a bolt-on chassis, like a, a, a right, body right. swap? Right, yeah. right. So the, the idea is when you put a, you go in and you put a body on, you're really just messing with low voltage, connecting those, putting in your gears, and you're ready to go. Okay, cool. So you've got the Mustang here today. Do you have yeah. another application before we go uh, deeper in the technical aspect of the drivetrain? Yeah, yeah. So we, we, we did the 67 Fastback Mustang, which is the classic. And, and that was really the vision for the owner, Dave Elkington, um, is to be able to kind of dip back into the future, get the American-made muscle cars, oh, yeah, and be, yeah. able, be able to still bring them up um, with the with the uh, electrical and technolo technological age where it, it made sense. So we're hoping that this offers a channel for people to really restore those classic cars, drive them, but then get all the get all the comforts of modern technology as well with an electrical ride. So what do you bring on your chassis? Obviously the, the ladder chassis and then the, the motor, inverters. Right. Uh, do you use a, a gearbox at all? Yep, so we have, we have our gearbox. We have, um, it comes with all the inverters and the, the platform that you need, which is that, that uh, uh, the powertrain system. Um, you got, this is a dual motor, all wheel drive. That's, oh, yeah. that's, that's a, it was a must for this build and for the chassis. Now we do, we will be offering single motors just for those that are looking for something that's less than 500 horsepower. Okay. Um, but right now that's, that's where we're going is, is uh, 500 horsepower and you're going to see about over 2,000 pounds of torque in that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So on those chassis, where do you uh, fit the batteries? Are the batteries installed in the body you put yeah. on top or as integrated to the yeah, chassis? Yeah, that's a great question. So that was one of our balances with this prototype that we showed us. You put the batteries in and then the car is not balanced. So we had horrible handling. Okay. So what we did is we put it underneath. And so the batteries are, so they are lithium pouch batteries. That, and they're all, again, brand, all, all of this is brand new. Nothing's been used. And you, we put it into um, nine modular cell, cell units, put that into the battery unit that goes right underneath it, and it bolts up and it's secure. So it's, a, it's been um, you know, gone through all the, the high voltage testing and then okay. water testing and so forth. And what that makes it, what it does, one is it adds all that stability and balance to the vehicle, but then also it can be removable. So not only can you swap the body later if you want to, you can remove that, upgrade the batteries, okay. add more, take some away, so it gives that flexibility. And just for servicing, if you ever needed to replace yeah, one uh, module, you can exactly. do so. Okay, uh, so the interior um, on this prototype is a two-seater. Yeah. Is that something that will apply to finished products? No, no, in fact, uh, so this one was definitely making sure it worked, making sure the idea came together. But we really wanted to maximize the space and, and keep as much of the integrity of the classic vehicle as we could. Okay. So, so that is for this one, our future, any builds that we've done for the chassis, you're gonna have all that space because everything's gonna be similar, if not the exact same, okay. as the original unit with that chassis. Excellent, yeah. So I think those chassis, do you have a, a particular wheelbase you need to use? Or you yeah, can... so right now this is at 108 to 110 inch wheelbase. Um, again, we're modular, so there is some give and take there. Right now we're about 28, 29 different models of vehicles we can put on here. Excellent. We've done uh, Mustangs, Bronco, this uh, early Bronco, 70s Bronco, um, M100s, a couple examples of different, different body types. So does the chassis come with uh, a new modern uh, independent suspension? It does, yeah. yep. So we have the independent suspension, you get your, I mean, the Brakes, the um, your your well wheel wells, your uh, really everything that you need to be going out there, except for the tires. Okay. We're going to get it in there. Okay. So we, we want to make the point of it was to make it very easy to open it up for for builders, so they didn't have to hire a new technician or an expert in EV. Um, it could just hey, I'm I'm interested in getting an electric car. I want you to make my Mustang or my Firebird electric, so that they could get that chassis in, put the body on 
fit that in, and then just deal with low voltage. You're not you're using same tool, same crew, same overhead. Okay, right. So now let's talk power and figures. How much sure. power torque? Uh, you've mentioned the torque already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're over yeah. 2200 in torque. Okay. Um, we have two. So there's it's dual motor, one in the front, one in the back. Um, you're running um, a total of about 500 horsepower. Okay. Uh, you get up to uh, right now with the way that we have it, we have really with that torque, we have that low gear system in there. Um, so it's got a lot of kickoff power. Okay. Right now we're the uh, top speed's 140. Okay. Uh, so we'd love to get that faster because why? Why wouldn't why not? you? Right? Yeah, why yeah. not? Uh, so how do you manage torque front and back and side to side? Do you have any vectoring uh, system? Or? Yeah. Yeah, we have the control system in there. Now, what, something that's unique about our chassis build here is that we're planning on the future. So when you you buy one of these chassis, it's something that's going to come with uh, pre-built um, computer units with Bluetooth technology. So what we're going to do is be able to access that through the cloud as as desired yeah. to be able to update different systems Excellent, within the yeah. system. So you can manage how fast you want this car to go. If you want the granddaughter to go out and drive or oh, the yeah, wife yeah, or what have you, yeah. then the you can say, hey, yeah. I need this to make sure that it doesn't go zero to 60 in 2.7 seconds. Yeah, yeah, I, want, yeah, I want to control that. So yeah. all of that is going to be controlled through an app on the phone system and in the front panel of the screen. So we want to we want to offer again that modern technology you're going to get from your brand new Tesla into a resto mod that's going to have that classic look. Okay. Uh, going back to the motors, can you share a bit more about the, the motors you use? Yeah, so so the motors that we're using, we're getting exclusively right now uh, from Prestaline. And uh, there's three different varieties of those different horsepower capabilities. That's mainly just so that we're different body types will function on those horsepower. You don't want to okay. put that in, in probably most trucks that you do for the rebuild. Um, so we want to have enough there to where it matches the customer, it doesn't give too much power, or we have that power to bump it up for those Excellent. that are looking for it. All right, uh, let's talk about charging. Uh, on this prototype and the, the, the final uh, vehicles, sure. what type of charging we sure, offer? Sure, so we have, we have both the, um, the high speed, fast charging, um, your 220, and then we have, the, we have the regular bolt charging. That right here in the system's done up front. Um, but yeah, we're offering both of those capabilities, and we're working right now to ensure that that licensing is done through Tesla charging stations, the fast charging, so you can take this anywhere Excellent. and be able to charge that up. Right stuff. So with the, 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 the chassis being a modern chassis with brand new suspension and batteries, yeah. how heavy is the car? As yeah, it is now yeah. Today? So, so the batteries are just over a thousand pounds. Okay. Uh, and then the complete platform all together, including batteries, you're looking at about 3,200 pounds. Okay, so relatively light for, so, yeah, for yeah, the yeah, it's cars. surprisingly that's light yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for what people are looking for, and that's that's really good because when you're trying to maximize a 90 kilowatt hour battery, that's where you're going to get that extra mileage. You have a lot of things to consider: your temperature, obviously, the way that you drive it. But if you're going 65 miles an hour, similar car like this, you're looking to up to 220 miles per, yes, per cycle. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, let's have a look inside. Yeah. So you've managed to keep the original dashboard, but improve on the console with a more modern touch to it. Uh huh. Right. Right. So um, again, the dials, as you can see, we want to keep the nostalgia of what we have with the vehicle, um, and uh, the more that the more that we can have the nostalgia, the better. But also. Where's that convenience and that some of that control we were talking about with the Bluetooth technology, the updates of the software, all that's going to be controlled through the app and this control panel here, um, similar to what you have, again, your modern Tesla at the, yeah, yeah. At the dealership, so that when you're getting the a chassis from here, you're able to deliver a premium product with that, all of that convenience, that comfort, smooth ride. It, it's been compared to, to really your premium performance cars of how it handles and drives, and you'll be able to control more of that from here. All right, so these we'll need to do sooner rather than later, take this for a spin. But yeah. today we're also here to talk about the finished product. So yeah, again, this that. was uh, your prototype Mustang, and now you've got yeah. Uh, the final one, which doesn't look like a final car because it kept this patina, yeah, but yeah. underneath this is a brand new chassis, brand new drivetrain, new running gear, and uh, yeah, it just looks fantastic, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful car. So this is um, in collaboration with one of our customers. They got this, they had this uh, body type put on top of the chassis. As you can see, this is, this is our latest chassis. Fits right into the spots, just like that engine would. Um, the battery is really sleek. You can't see it from the sides, but yep. again, at a really close angle, you can see oh, it yeah, yet yeah. hanging from there. Um, and again, what's nice is that's completely sealed, water sealed. It's tested uh, seven times uh, in under different environments and conditions. Um, so we really go to great lengths to make sure that not only are they going to be safe, but then it's that's such a big deal for customers. Like, how do I replace my batteries? I have some malfunction. 
And that's also included in the software updates of what battery went bad, if it did go bad, how do you fix that? And that goes in complementary with our warranty we offer of a 12 month uh, warranty going bumper to bumper. So when people buy this, they know that it's something that's going to get taken care of. So warranty is one thing, but, but customer support is even more important. Sure. So sure. what do you deliver? You're talking about uh, updates. Uh, what else will you be offering? Yeah, yeah. so something for the builders is that we're going to, we offer to come in, um, offer them a three-day seminar, teach them how to work with these vehicles. And again, it's it's not something that takes keep, you know different skill sets, the same skill set that they have, um, dealing with low voltage wiring, putting the body onto the chassis, uh, but it's just that comfort level. You're dealing with a, a different model, different chassis, you're dealing with electricity. It's nice to have that comfort. And then for our customers, um, and that'll go through their builder, we want to help empower the builder so that we, we will provide that warranty service, but also help them become a master of that craft Excellent. and open that channel even further. Um, let's go back under the hood and uh, so that the chassis, when say a, a specialist orders the chassis, does it come as a rolling chassis with all the, the, the drivetrain already installed or does it come as a bare chassis with all the components in the crate and then they put yeah. the, 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 the body on and start installing it all? No, that's a great question. So we, we deliver with everything intact except for the battery okay. and we do that to reduce liability so that when the, what we do is we deliver the chassis, you work on it, and when you're ready for the battery, you're ah, done yes. with the build, then you say, hey, we're ready for battery, we send, send you the battery, yeah, okay. help make sure that's installed, so that way you're not dealing with high voltage anything. So just to take another level of kind of safety, stress yeah, off yeah. and safety, yeah. Uh, then we'll send you the battery when it's ready to go, and it's easy build in, plug in, you're ready to go. Excellent. Um, and also here again, the interior is uh, all uh, standard looking. I see you still have the original uh, automatic gearbox uh, lever. Yeah, Has yeah. it been modified to just go forward? That's right, that's yeah? correct. Oh, yep, nice. yep. Yeah. So, so um, Bishop did really good with this and that's the, for the customer, they, they want to keep all the integrity there um, for that. So they're going to be able to manage the technology side of that chassis just directly from that. So. And one big bonus of having the battery pack all under the car is obviously you get your full yeah. uh, trunk. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have all the convenience, yeah. right? So you have all your seats, you have the trunk space, um, and, and that's just really important. I mean, if you get in a car, you wanna have that, you wanna have as many boxes checked out yeah. as you can, and that's what we're trying to do. And you still uh, charge uh, the master and like the original uh, gas uh, filler. Yeah, looking good. So the power is about the same as the prototype car? Uh, that's right, that's right. So, so we've actually built another one um, that we don't have at the show that uh, that has a thousand horsepower. So we did it with a Cascadia motor. So there's different varieties of kind of things you can swap out. But what we found is that um, with that, around that 500 horsepower, between three to 500, a lot of customers are really interested in that. It's a price margin that fits for them. Okay. And it's what people are comfortable taking their cars out in. Okay. So Mustang, we've seen you've done them. What else? What else can you use those uh, skateboard chassis um, for other applications? Maybe, uh, I don't know, mini trucks, bigger trucks, yeah, so yeah. Jeeps, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So we have, we, have, we have a customer right now that has it on an M100. Uh, it turned out really, really beautiful. Um, all, again, all the space uh, and uh, the, the, um, the original functionality of the truck is maintained. Uh, then we also had it put into a 74 Bronco. Wow, uh, nice. And that one, again, it's just beautiful when you see it and you're, you go in there and it looks like a regular car, and then when you turn it on, people double do a double take, and like, is that on? Are you ready to go? And like, yeah, it's, it's on, ready to go. So it's a, it's a really unique thing. It's a standout, one-of-a-kind type of builds that either builders or customers that they're, of theirs are looking for. This is a great option. Excellent, excellent. So where do we need to check you out? Uh, website, social yeah, media? Yeah, so you can find us at elkingtonmotors.com. Um, and there you'll be able to find more about the specs of the chassis, some of the vehicles that we've done, some of our customers, and uh, reach out and contact us from there. Perfect. Guys, if you like what you saw today, let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up. And guys, we'll see you in the next one. Would you believe me if I told you you can do a radical change to your car in less time it takes to supercharge your Tesla? Let's check it out. I have partnered with Allo Black to create a custom design that hides your old rim and replace it with a nice flush disc that not only protects your rims but also improves efficiency. First step is to install the hub. It just goes in. You can push this in, tighten it by hand. Then you use a special tool. Here we go. Next step is just to open the disc and this one is the custom design one. 88 miles per hour because when this baby hits 88 you're gonna see some serious Next step is simply to screw this on. And because this is the right side of the car, screw anti-clockwise and you use the tool to lock it in. 
and to secure the whole thing you screw on one very last screw. All right, it only took 12 minutes, which is well less than it takes the Tesla to supercharge. So in the next few weeks, I will know if efficiency has actually improved. But in the meantime, you can order your own set of discs. And again, you can use any numbers, any letter you want, up to 25 characters, and use the code below. But more importantly, send us your photos of your Tesla with your Allo disc.